Hey party people, welcome to another video. How do you like that title? Car polishing optical clarity. Now if you've tuned into my station for any length of time, you know I take great issue with the endless terminology and the hyped up terminology that the industry of, of cosmetic car care, uh, polishing paint, uh, go down the list that they inject into the equation to sell products. So optical clarity. So here I am, CSI headquarters. I've got Tom here to my left, which would be to your right. He is the formulator, founder of CSI Clear Coat Solutions and the cornerstone of his product line. It's a very simple product line, five core uh, products. But what I like to stress is simplicity and versatility. So the cornerstone of his product line is the ceramics. The promise to you guys, the guarantee to you guys is a swirl free finish. The ability to go from removal of heavy defects or sanding marks down to a swirl free finish with a single product, hence the term single product polish. So with that said is Tom, cause he's kind of a mad scientist like myself. So he thought, okay, let's, let's tweak this optical clarity. So what you did, you went down and you got, I'm gonna hold up one of these pieces. This is a big, fat, probably one inch thick piece of plastic. How about, how's that for a glorified name? Plastic, <laughs> polycarbonate. I mean, they just come in endless configurations. So this is how it started. We're gonna take this to SEMA. So literally, this is an invitation for one. It's also a challenge, secondly. So the invitation is this. If you wanna see what we're about to do, at SEMA, come and see us at our booth. Also, if you're another Polish company, this is the challenge. Bring your compound, bring your polish over, and we will just go side by side and just see how your compound slash polish works because we're gonna show you right now in this moment how it works for you guys. And if you have the ability to come and see us at SEMA, even more power to you. So Tom, you got this, you went to a, a plastic company, but what I wanna, you know what, let's, let's dive right into the demonstration. So you said, hey Darren, get some sandpaper, let's just scuff the crap out of this. What is this, 3000 grit? Um, and you said, like this is kind of a unique sanding paper, and I'm gonna talk why I'm doing this. So I'm gonna scuff up the back of this really nicely. So what was you kind of unique about the sanding paper? This is a diamond impregnated 3000 grit sandpaper. Now, now when you say diamond, do you literally mean like diamond shards? That's or? right. These are actual machinist diamonds. And if um, you've ever heard that term before, they use those diamonds on bits for just being a harder surface than what you can make metal. Um, so now they put these uh, machinist diamonds into the sandpaper and it is 3000 grit, it's very good sandpaper. We're, we used to sell a lot of this sandpaper, but they've raised the price of this product um, to an astronomical level. So, um, you know, if it comes down, we'll, we'll do something again with them. But uh, right now, you know, we're, we're not doing anything, but it's a great sandpaper. So what I want to do, um, I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit closer. So I'm going to cut the frame. I'm going to do a little bit more sanding so you can really see the true uh, contrast between the sanded side versus the non-sanded side. And then we're going to take out the sanding marks with a single polish. We're going to use two pads and bring in for results. So let me do some more sanding. Okay, Tom, so I'm on the other side of the camera. Uh, you know, the tape's covering, but that says Ceramic X. We are literally gonna have this at the uh, SEMA show. So you guys literally can come and play with us in our booth. So hold that up, your face, uh, and I'm gonna zoom in so we can see, okay, right there to the right of the camera, yep. And there's haze, and kind of hold it up a little further up to the light, you know, those fluorescents. Yeah, there we go. So we see over to the right, there we have to the left, and we see the difference. So with that said is, um, Tom, do you want to bust out the polisher and go to town on it? And hey, um, Haley, you can keep this part in, but like as Tom's polishing, you can, um, Tom, show us how much polish you're using, by the way. Okay, so applies it directly to the pad, place it straight on, and go to town. There we go. 
And Haley, you can keep this part in. It don't matter. Now you'll just notice that uh, Tom is kind of adjusting. Tom, what speed setting do you have that on? Well, I'm half trigger at 1600. Because so. I noticed that there was a little bit of fluctuation in that. Yeah. So um, you're, you're kind of finessing it. it yeah. Like, I'm, okay. Just because the disc is moving a little bit. Yeah. It, this is our unscientific way of illustrating a very significant point of optical clarity. You know, this industry just makes my head spin with all this terminology. Like, for example, Turtle Wax and their latest uh, uh, platelets, you know. Oh, and oh, by the way, also aminos. <laughs> aminos that are now formulated into their polish, which I have no idea what aminos are as a weightlifter. It used to be into a hardcore bodybuilding, Tom. Amino acids. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to zoom in. So here, okay. Now I've, I've forgotten already which side was which. <laughs> this was the side I polished. Okay. Because <laughs> that's really, really clear. <laughs> and that was one pass. You know, I crack up too, these guys that on uh, Facebook or, or Instagram, they talk about, yeah, I just finished with my uh, four-step paint correction <laughs> or my 12-step uh, paint correction or my 350-step paint correction yeah. that I was able to charge a customer, you know, $15,000 for. <laughs> this is like, oh my gosh, make my head spin. Okay, so... But that's pretty clear, huh? Uh, yeah, because really the only thing that's showing up now literally is a fingerprint or oh, a yeah. thumbprint. Oh, yeah, yeah right. exactly. Oh, yeah. So, okay, that, that was... I Correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> yeah. because I'm kind of trying to juggle a few things behind the camera. Wanna that was one off? pass, right? Yeah. I mean, obviously you went back and forth, but so it kind of... There we go. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> so there we can see the true line of demarcation. Let me zoom in once again. Yeah, okay. So why don't you, I don't know, for giggles, maybe you could just take that out. I don't know. Let's now let's just let's just keep this as a teaser. You guys come and see us at like literally come and see Ceramics. us at SEMA. I wonder what compound will look like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so any of you guys, those other manufacturers that are now coming out with a single product, you know, the one step compound or the true one step compound, it's like, oh yeah, by the way, how many other compounds and polishes do you still have and you still are telling to sell to the public and us detailers? You know, how about that? So come and see us, but now that you've seen the demonstration, which I think is a compelling argument, and Tom, since I have you on camera, tell us, because I've illustrated it in another video, of, of the catalyzing moment mm. that you had and why you came to the conclusion that you did that has to do with the eyeglass industry, which is truly optical clarity. Yeah, it's so fun. Um, and I'm glad, so glad I have Darren, the storyteller, who loves to hear this stuff, because I do believe it is you know, the part of our business that helps us to really sell this product. Um, and as I said before in the other video that Darren did, I, I don't know that I was looking for an answer. I, I don't know. I was a frustrated body You knew man. you were frustrated. I was frustrated. And what, what let's just talk like, like, if you had a three, one, two, three, Bullet points of what was your main frustrations? I mean, because there's so many. I think you're an life, owner. You know, I'm an owner. Life. I've got a lot of guys. Um, <laughs> I've got a 10-year-old son. I have a wife. You know, I have you know lots of things going on. It's a lot to juggle. And uh, my wife asked me to pick her up, so I go to where she is a manager of a large manufacturing company where they make optic lenses. Okay, let's just clarify that because, by the way, I was just having this this, this discussion with my wife. It's interesting how as technology advances, it, like laws, rules, and terminology doesn't necessarily catch up. So when was it the last time you actually put on a pair of glasses that was actually made out of glass? I never have. I, I, I don't think I, I, I ever have. Okay, Polycarbonate lenses. Exactly, yeah. it's plastic, but yeah. we still call them eyeglasses, right? Yeah, we do. So officially, <laughs> we should probably be calling them eye plastics. Yeah, but I'm it, wearing my eye plastics. But it's right probably now. it's never going to happen. Never. No. So, so yeah. that's a little you yeah, know background true. for people. It's like, yeah. hey, by the way, people, those things, and this is where the industry has like, hey, you know what? 
let's use that term optical clarity yep. when we're talking and trying to sell our polishes. So this is me challenging, once again, Tom. It's like, hey, Tom, let's put your money where your mouth is. Let's talk about this optical clarity, what it really means. Yeah. So there you are with your wife, Sandy. Yep. You're and I'm 36 years old. Okay. So that was before I was So that was like glasses. two years ago. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't start wearing glasses till I was 40. I'm 60 now. So um, I go there to pick her up. I don't know anything about glasses. I don't know about what she does. I, I don't know that I ever saw anything on what she does. She you just... probably assume that glasses were still being made out of glass. Yeah, probably. My wife, yeah. by the way, that conversation, oh, yeah. <laughs> she, I had to connect the dots for her. I say, hey, honey, you know that movie I love called, um, uh, 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 what's it? Oh, shoot, the guy with the, um, Darren McGavin. He's the, the father and the little son. Oh my gosh, uh, talk about brain freeze. I don't, um, I don't know. A Christmas story. Oh yeah, that was a good movie. Yeah, He's gonna so shoot his eye out with the yeah, BB gun. You're gonna shoot your eye out with <laughs> the BB gun. That's such a good movie. <laughs> and, and sure enough, they show his glasses <laughs> dropping great. on the ground and they shatter. <laughs> yep. Because back then, they probably yep. actually used they were glasses. Glass. Yep. But we don't do that anymore. Now mm -hmm. it's plastic. Okay. All plastic. Sorry, so I, I walk into her place and uh, she says, hey, I, I got to hang out for a minute because there's somebody in the back and he's doing whatever he does. And I said, can I go back there? And she goes, yeah, I don't care. Just, you know, don't bug him. So I go back and I see this guy and it's, it, it actually is like dull. The lens is dull. Because I, they have to grind yeah, it down grind based on the prescription. To, yeah, they're correct? doing some grinding on I don't know. Yeah, he's, yeah they have to yeah, grind in the prescription. Put them in the frames and they're doing a whole bunch of stuff back there. But his job is just this last one step, and he's trying to get it done before he leaves. And, um, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, I just look at him with this dull lens. He puts it in this, like, vacuum chamber, and out comes this. And I'm like, what did you just do? <laughs> he doesn't know anything about yes. what that machine did. He doesn't know anything. He just... He can't appreciate he, what he was able to do. I, I'm like, oh, my gosh. So then I start down the rabbit trail, you know, to find out. I call the company that made the product that did this, and they said what I want to do is impossible that, you know, because this is all happening in a closed chamber. Um, so then, then it's calling the people that make the products, and then they're like, well, maybe you could. And, and then I, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to college. I'm going oh to try to figure this out because nobody has got anything like this. Because, and, correct me if I'm wrong, you, you're connecting the dots, meaning if they can do this with plastic and create true optical clarity, which means that you can see through it and you see no blemishes, mm -hmm. no flaws Nothing. whatsoever. Nothing. And you're thinking, why can my industry not replicate that same thing? Why am I having so much frustration polishing paint? And today we have, you know, all these modern day clear coats, which are in a rudimentary level, a form of plastic. Yep. Why can't we do that same thing? Is that a fair statement? And this is from a wool pad. Yeah, let me... This let isn't me, even from a phone let pad. Let me zoom in real quickly <laughs> and capture that yet again. Yeah, a wool this, this is, cutting pad. This is the worst it's ever going to look. Yeah, you haven't even... <laughs> we haven't put the foam on it yet. Yes, yes. <laughs> we haven't put a DA on it. We haven't done all There's the fancy stuff. There's a lot more stuff. options. But, yeah. but with that said is, you can look through that yeah. and you could deliver that to yep. a, a a wearer and this is what eye. we started with yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i could put those eyeglasses on if i needed you know eyeglasses that were one inch thick <laughs> and i would be good to go i'd be like okay you nailed it thank you <laughs> and you did you did it with a a one wool pad and one, one product pad, yeah just simple it's so you you work your way down that rabbit hole mm -hmm. and you start connecting the dots you go to formulation school man yeah and it um i actually thought it would be easy because once like this is an idea i'm not in this business i'm in the car business i just want this fixed i want my headache fixed on my guys yelling at me or yelling to me that they burned a car on friday night and i'm the one stuck fixing it i don't want to do that i got i just got so you sick got and a tired to of run a family to yeah, run you want to spend time with your family but you can't because now we got this problem and um, you know so on and so forth and that still is a problem in lots of body shops that I go today, and it's so fun to take this in there and go, guys, we got to get out of here. You don't, no, 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 no. I'm telling you, we got the answer. And, you know, you push and shove with them. And, guys, I know what you're, I know what you're dealing with. And they go, all right, but you're only going to get five minutes. Okay. 
in, in less than a few minutes, we're doing this. They're like, yeah. wow. now they're asking all the questions. Yeah. Now they're like, oh my God. Now suddenly, the <laughs> you only have five minutes. Yeah. Suddenly they find an hour of time <laughs> to ask you questions. Yeah, yeah. interesting do. how yeah, that works. So much fun. Okay, so much fun. Uh, you want to leave with anything else other than nope. come and see us at come SEMA. Come and see us, you yeah. can You can feel it, touch it, hold it, yep. play with it. So, <laughs> so there's both the imitation and the challenge. And with that said, we will see you hopefully at SEMA. If not, we'll see you on YouTube.